לאחר דיון בקבינט המדיני-ביטחוני, ובהמשך להנחייתי, הממשלה תדון היום בסגירת שידורי אל-ג'זירה בישראל. In a significant move, the Israeli government, led by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, has taken steps to shut down the operations of the Qatar-based news network, Al Jazeera, within the country. This decision comes amidst escalating tensions in the region and accusations against the broadcaster for allegedly serving as an agent of Hamas. The decision was made public on Sunday, May 5th, following a unanimous vote by Netanyahu's cabinet. Subsequently, Israeli police carried out raids at Al Jazeera's office located in the Ambassador Hotel in Jerusalem. The move signifies a strong stance by the Israeli government against what it perceives as a threat to national security. While the closure order has been issued, Al Jazeera's operations in Israel have not been completely halted. The network remains active on social media platforms like Facebook, allowing it to continue disseminating news and information to audiences within the country. The decision to shut down Al Jazeera's operations comes amid heightened tensions in the region, particularly in the wake of the conflict between Israel and the Palestinian militant group. Hamas, Al Jazeera has been accused of biased reporting and of exacerbating tensions through its coverage of the conflict. This move has sparked debates and discussions about media freedom and censorship within Israel. While some argue that the closure is necessary for national security reasons, Others see it as an infringement on freedom of the press. It remains to be seen how Al Jazeera will respond to the closure order and whether any legal challenges will be mounted against the government's decision. As the situation continues to evolve, stakeholders and observers will closely monitor developments to assess the implications of this decision on media freedom and the broader geopolitical landscape.